Let's talk about computer chips being implanted into your brain. What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And we're going to talk about the FDA approving computer chips to be implanted into your brains, which means we are getting closer and closer to turning into cyborgs, ladies and gentlemen. But before we do all of that, make sure you hit the like button, share button, subscribe, and also go sign up for a Tech G membership where I'm going to be teaching you guys various labs pertaining to A, Network, and Security, and CCNA for those of you who are trying to get into IT slash cybersecurity. With that, let's go ahead and check out this article. Article says, a brain computer startup has beat Elon Musk Neuralink to implanting its first chip in a U.S. patient. So for those of you who may be unfamiliar, for the past couple of years, Elon Musk has been trying to get a chip installed in people's brains so that they can go out there and do some miraculous stuff of which I'm not exactly sure. But apparently another company has beaten him to the punch in terms of being FDA approved to do so. Article says Synchron, a brain computer interface startup, reportedly implanted its first device in a U.S. patient earlier this month, overtaking Elon Musk Neuralink for the third time. Says the startup implanted a 1.5 inch device into the brain of an ALS patient at Mount Sinai West Medical Center in New York on July 6th. A spokesperson from Synchron did not immediately respond to a request for comment. It says the purpose of the device is to allow the patient to communicate even after they have lost the ability to move by using their thoughts to send emails and texts. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I wonder exactly how that works. So they put this chip into your brain and then it can decode or encode your brain signals to send texts and email messages. That's actually pretty amazing. A little scary, but pretty amazing nevertheless. It says Bloomberg reported that Synchron has already implanted the device in four patients in Australia who have been able to use the brain implant to send messages on WhatsApp and they can shop online. Wow. Since last year, the Australia-based startup received permission from the US FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, to begin human trials on six patients who have been severely paralyzed. In 2019, the company implanted its device into its first human patient in Melbourne, Australia. Since meanwhile, Neuralink has yet to receive FDA approval, though Musk has predicted the company could begin human trials as early as 2020. Most recently, he said in 2021 that the company planned to start implanting its computer chips and humans by 2022. The announcement came after the billionaire and co-founder shared a video of a monkey playing a video game using only its mind via a Neuralink brain chip. Jesus, we got monkeys playing video games with their minds, y'all. This is some amazing yet creepy stuff at the same time. Since earlier this year, the co-founder and former president of Neuralink revealed he'd invested in Synchron after leaving Musk's startup. Synchron and Neuralink's implants have similar immediate applications. They are both designed to translate human thoughts into computer commands and could help patients with neurological diseases diseases like Parkinson's or ALS. Says, however, Musk's goal for Neuralink appears to be slightly more ambitious. In the past, Musk has claimed the brain machine interface could give people telepathic powers and make humans symbiotic with artificial intelligence, referring to the device as a Fitbit in your skull. Not exactly sure I like the description of having a Fitbit in my brain, but I guess, I don't know. Neuralink and Synchron's products have several key differences, namely the size size and installation. The Australian startup products can be inserted into a human skull without cutting into it using a catheter that feeds the device through the jugular vein into a blood vessel in the brain. The process requires two separate surgeries. In contrast, Neuralink plans to make a much smaller and more powerful device that will require a portion of the individual's skull to be removed and would be performed using a robot. Jesus, I don't know how I feel about all of that. Inserting stuff into your jugular vein and then cutting up people's skulls to put little robots in there. That's that's a little too much for me. All right, folks, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are inching closer and closer into turning into the Arnold Schwarzenegger 
Tiger Terminator. That is where society is heading, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to these two companies and Elon Musk leading the charge of putting computer chips inside of people's brains. Now, what in the world does this have to do with my channel of teaching and preaching about IT and cybersecurity? Well, obviously, we know that there's an IT component here. They are talking about putting computer chips in people's brains and then having that computer chip take people's brain pulses or chemicals or whatever the heck is going on inside the brain and making that thing translate those signals into computer commands so that people can play video games, shop online and communicate via text and email. And then Elon Musk is talking about some telepathic stuff of moving stuff with your brain, which truth be told, I wouldn't mind having that ability because sometimes I'm too lazy to get off the couch and go get something to drink out of the refrigerator. And I would rather just have that drink of water just magically float over to me. But regardless, there's the IT component. Now, what is the cybersecurity component to this? Well, when you think about it, we have hackers out here who are hacking people's smartphones, computers, databases, Bluetooth, SIM cards. Well, what do you think is going to happen with this? There's going to be a high risk of people hacking into people's brains, ladies and gentlemen, in the literal sense. I have no idea what could come as a result of people hacking into people's brains. Maybe they can take over their thoughts and make people think certain ways or control their motor functions for their bodies. I don't know. Or worst case, they do something to uh, unfortunately cause a person to uh, be deleted from this earth. I don't know. But what I'm saying is there is a cybersecurity component to this. And if this stuff becomes mainstream in the sense that people are getting chips implanted into their brains all willy nilly just because they want some superpowers or they have a legit purpose to help people with severe medical needs, there is going to be that risk of people, quote unquote, hacking into their brains to uh, disrupt their quality of life. And that's where you all come in into the mix of learning cybersecurity, because somebody's going to have to go out there and protect those networks. It's like any other network that needs protecting, whether you're working for a financial institution, a medical institution, a university or whatever, just some private company or public company, it doesn't really matter. There's going to be a cybersecurity component that is in place, especially as it deals with computers directly interacting with the human body. I've already told you a story a couple of videos ago about a person who was actually killed because a hacker broke into a system and was messing with the medical files or something like that and prevented the doctors from getting access to the medical files to treat the patient. Well, what do you think is going to happen when hackers discover they may have the ability to hack directly? directly into somebody's brain and start downloading memories or making this person think crazy thoughts or God knows what. Just imagine your worst case sci-fi movie coming to reality with this type of stuff as far as the hackers are concerned. That's why we need people out there learning IT and learning cybersecurity. So not only can you make the big bucks, but you can also go out there and do your part to protect humanity. In the literal sense, if this thing actually becomes a mainstream type of reality, reality where this is happening all over the place. So with that being said, if you want to learn cybersecurity, I highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel, share this channel, tell everybody out there about it. Go check out my playlist where I got classes posted for IT fundamentals, A+, Network+, and Security+, and also consider joining a channel membership where I will be posting exclusive videos showing you guys how to do various labs pertaining to A+, Network+, Security+, and CC. CNA, Cisco Certified Network Associate, so that when you guys go out there and pass these certifications, if you want to go out there and get you a job in IT, you can walk it like you talk it, meaning you know the information because you've learned it and went out there and successfully passed the exam, but you also know how to take that information and apply it in a practical manner where you can get busy out there manipulating computers, routers, and systems out there so that you can become this IT professional slash cybersecurity genius out there in these streets who are protecting people's brains from hackers who might be looking to hack into people's heads. All right. So with that being said, hit the like button, share button and subscribe. And I will highlight you all on the next video. So peace.